All right, kids, we're looking at here at Louisiana Beer Reviews. We are looking at something that could be new. Maybe it's not new. Maybe it's just a different style and something that's new. Uh, but this is the Stone Fear Movie Lions Double IPA. I've had their Double IPA. It's good. Uh, the single IPA that comes with the green label, I think, is fantastic. Um, so I don't know if they took what it takes to make their double IPA, which comes in like a gold label, and um, haze it out. I'm thinking this is hazed. It's at the bottom, it says unfiltered. Now they did come out with months back, uh, just a hazed pale ale, I think it was. A hazed pale ale. As a matter of fact, I had one not too long ago and I, and I drank it. I don't know if I had that one. Yeah, yes. I had that that Sierra Nevada hazy little thing. Remember that one last year? Oh, it was about Sierra Nevada. I'm sorry. Okay. Now this says enjoy by November 9th, and it was canned on July 12th. So at the time of this recording, we're looking at a beer 16, 16 days old. Yeah, two days. So this says it's got from days. Richmond, Virginia, on the label. Does uh, well. Oh there's, yeah, there's, there's a paragraph yeah. on the back that you can barely read because it's silver and white. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a roll and see what what we uh, you know smell, taste, and think about it. Uh, this is a new beer. Richmond, Virginia, our country's former capital. Yes. And it's 16 ounce, so we're gonna get a little bit better taste on it. So we're gonna it. Giving me all of it. All right. Whoa. Uh, Gen I'm generally pretty good at sizing this out. Uh, what and what, but your phone is going to go back up, so it should be even. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, I just took a whiff of the can, and I'm getting dank. I'm getting some dank off of this. <clears throat> so, well, that is a thick, thick ivory head, and that is a very opaque. Um, it looks like pancake batter, like you know, like yeah, it's 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 kind of really, old. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of thick, like you can't even see through it. Yeah. Uh, the aroma is, is dank. I'm getting that really danky. Uh, I wish I knew more about the beer. It's a real danky uh, mess that you get from some of the hops. I think <clears throat> almost like stickiness. It's you know sweet. what I mean. Uh, if you could smell stickiness. Stickiness. That's that hot resin and it smells sugary. I'm not uh, saying that any IPA sugariness that we've, if you want to say, fussed about. I'm just saying it's, but most IPAs smell sugary to me, okay? I think most virgin IPAs would, would smell sugary. So, anyway, let's move past that. I'm, I'm noticing you got a really good head on yours. It's yeah. more than just carbonation you got going on. It's so, like cream. <laughs> yeah, you got you got some cream on top. All right. So we got to get this in taste. Cheers. Great lacing. First taste. Prost. I haven't seen any video reviews for this, but of course somebody probably have it before I get it posted. <sighs> it's oh, uh. You must have high IBUs. <laughs> Yeah, you get you getting that bitterness, getting that creaminess, and a kind of an oiliness. Hmm. Or as you described one time, a fleshiness. Oh, that is the the worst case of fleshy hops that I ever run across is with New Belgium. Yeah, New Belgium IPAs are just like to me. This is this is close to that. This is close to that new Belgium. 
you've had the Voodoo Ranger and all them things. Yes. You know how they're like... Yeah. And it's not like, oh, you can't take bitterness. It's not the bitterness. It's, it's like some... I personally don't find them so offensive as Jay would, but I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. It's, it's a different kind of... It's, it's a bitey oiliness. And that's what I'm getting from this. It's a bitey oiliness. Uh, bitterness doesn't bother me. I drink the hop stupid. It's 102 IBUs. It's like... Hot stupid, hot stupid, it's fantastic. Yeah, but uh, you know, this is not a bitterness issue, it's some kind of mouthfeel. Every time I see hop stupid, I buy it up. <laughs> and it's cheap. Okay. It's, it's not creamy. It's cakey. Boy, it's cakey. <laughs> it's Ghost, cakey. Ghost in the movie line. Yeah. All right. And where else have we seen this that before? The Summer of Fear movie lions. <laughs> oh. Um. Well, at least it doesn't have an onion profile to it. No, it really doesn't. Um, it's kind of sugary. It's sweet. It's bready. Like think of sugar, white bread, white bread crust. Um. Bitterness, bitterness, but it's not like overwhelming. Like you, you're sweet. not saying oh, it doesn't. It doesn't need to be sweet. It's, it's, it's so sugary. It's not really sugary. It's just sweet. It's like it's like cupcake or something. Yeah, you know, I was gonna it's say like something. Cupcake. At first, I was gonna say something, but I didn't because I said I, I was thinking you better not say that. It's a bad idea. I was gonna say something about confectionery sugar, but yeah. I didn't. Thank goodness I didn't bring up confectionery sugar. Right. But I was going to mention it. <sighs> the mouth feels um, kind of heavy. Not I like heavy. it. I'm already ready to stop this video. Medium. Yeah. I mean, because all we're doing is pontificating this moment. You don't really need to. It's the same old, same old New England style IPA coming out of the West Coast. But, oh boy, we did it in Virginia. So it's East Coast. Right. Okay. It's uh, out uh, West Coast, Coast Company. Uh, it's sweet. It's everything that you would have in any other style like this. Um, it's not blowing my socks off. It's a little sweet. I don't prefer sweet. Uh, I just picked it up because I was like, oh man, that's cool. Let me try that. You know, see what they're doing. Um, they're just following trend. Uh, I'd give it a B most. Yeah, I'm gonna say um, I'm not saying it, it's 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 a bad beer. What I, I really think they did is they took their core beer double IPA, which is a little on the sweet side, and they clotted it out. And there you have it. It's a with good, a cupcake batter. Yeah, it's a That's good. What it tastes like it's a good M A I P A, a Mid Atlantic IPA. Uh, um, I'll give it a B also. I I did give the Bush a B plus, but I won't talk about that. Um, It's fine. I mean, this is kind of like we keep it's playing okay. the same yeah. movie. I like, I like the dankiness on it. You know, I'm, I'm glad dankiness came back. You notice we've been you know, a lot it. of the IPAs there for a while. Dankiness wasn't there. They were just yeah. kind of lost it. You know, I'm just like, oh, let's just put bitterness in it, and that's it. So it, it's good to have the dankiness back. Thanks, Stone. Uh, but you know. It's like that Hercules thing that you put out. Oh, uh, no, we don't want to go there. We don't want to talk about that. Right. Back to the drawing board, boys. It's kind of like me and you keep watching the same movie. Yeah. And See, they got you know, the ending's going to be. Yeah, and it just have little deleted scenes. And like, you're like, no, don't go there. We're watching a few deleted scenes that we're watching the director's cut, but it's still the same uh, plot in generalized movies. So, okay, you know, hey, it's good. But you can get good beer pretty easily, I think. So you got to take that into account. But I appreciate you letting me try it. I haven't seen it before today. It's good. Thanks, Dan. It's a good beer. A B. You like good beer? This could be something to try. Okay. That's that. So That's it. Lazy Lake. Lazy Lake. Bon Ton Lake. Y'all come on down to Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. And don't get lazy. Lazy on making your bit a. Hey.